the human right to education is a lifelong learning. So it's not starting and ending, it's with life. And secondly, the education must always be considered a common and public good. What I heard from the younger generation, um, perhaps that's the most important, they uh, firmly believe that they need intergenerational dialogue. They want intercultural um, experience and understanding and skills and competencies. They want digital inclusion, but also safety is a huge concern. And they want a seat at the table. I think uh, we have simply access is a huge problem. There's linguistic barriers. There are ability and accessibility uh, barriers. So there's a whole strew of barriers to just accessing. And then it has to be appropriate and adaptable to the needs of diverse learners. The other big area to me is since COVID, this misconception that digital technology is the panacea for education. I really think we have to be extremely careful about thinking that digital is the new world. There is far more mental stress among students and younger people than there was before. There, and, and some of that at least has to do with the digital world, which they do not distinguish between online, offline worlds. For them, it's the same. What we need to do is, I think, invest hugely in education and ensure that the basis of what we teach how we teach it, how we assess, and how education is structured is really premised on human rights and inclusiveness for everybody.